New details about the search for a two-year-old who disappeared from his home this weekend. And tonight, the officer who helped save the boy is talking about the dramatic rescue that we saw unfold from Chopper 6 over the weekend. Our Amy Frazier is now following up. Amy? The officer says he was helping with traffic control when he suddenly saw a woman flagging him down. She and her search dog had found the missing boy. From Chopper 6. She told me that she, uh, they had located the um, river's bodies, is the word she used. You can see a search and rescue volunteer point Officer Daniel Tatro toward the spot where a search dog named Ava had just found the missing little boy. And so I was um, kind of mentally preparing to um, have the unfortunate task of um, just finding a dead two-year-old, which is nothing that anybody wants to, to do. But the boy was breathing. And as I lifted him out, he just clung to me. He was, you could tell he was really weak. He was very cold to the touch. So he held the boy close and used his jacket to try and warm him up. Normally on the job, the officer tries to keep some personal distance, but this time it was impossible. He's really cute, and so it's hard to not love him. And so... <laughs> You think you think your own kids, you know, like how, you know, what uh, in a time like that and what River must have gone through when he was stuck in those blackberry bushes. So the boy's mother reported him missing from her bed at around 6 a.m. Saturday. He was found about six hours later, but police now believe he may have been out in the elements for as long as 11 hours. A little boy lucky to be alive. Thanks to Mountain Way volunteer Becky Irving, her search dog Ava, so, and Officer um, Tatro. My wife commented, "This is probably like, you know, the top of my career. You know, <laughs> it's not going to get any better than this." So. <laughs> And of course, the little boy was taken to the hospital and then put into protective custody with DHS. Authorities have decided he will remain there at least for now. During a hearing today, his mother also agreed to undergo residential treatment. As for the investigation, I asked police about that today. They tell me there's no evidence of any foul play. Back to you.